U.S. intelligence agencies are expected to deliver an unclassified report to Congress next month on what the government knows about UFOs. With curiosity at a fever pitch, there is new video of a possible encounter. This footage of a radar seen by sailors aboard the USS Omaha back in 2019 shows as many as 14 UFOs swarming the ship off, ship off the coast of San Diego. At least one of the objects was moving upwards of 160 miles per hour. That one's pretty much perfectly zero, zero, zero relative, right? Yeah. Two, six, three, three miles, 55 knots, speed. Investigative filmmaker Jeremy Corbell says the clip verifies a prior video he released of the same incident, with the earlier footage showing a mysterious object flying over the ship before disappearing into the Pacific Ocean. And as we get a, lo a look at more sightings, officials warn that these objects appear to be far more advanced than our aircrafts. Harris, starting... Starting with you, so now we have President Obama, who says UFOs exist. You have Republican Director mm -hmm. of National Intelligence, formerly uh, John Radcliffe, saying basically the same. And now we're hearing that they might be far more advanced than UF aircrafts, U.S. aircrafts. Are you concerned? Well, what I am concerned about is, is really what the unidentified portion really means. I mean, I think it's really cool and, and fun to think that, you know, things may be coming here from another world. What I would be worried about is our enemies doing some stuff because it's unidentified flying objects. It, it doesn't say necessarily that they came from a, a different planet. So we do know that we have some haters. And, and when you look at the FOIA requests on some of the markings of these, you, you know that some in the media must be aware of this, right? And the military is always working on things with our enemies. So if they are from another world, let's hope they're friendly. And if they are enemies trying to fly faster than we do, um, let's find out as much as we can. And if that's the case, you don't have to tell us. Keep it to yourselves because we want to be able to, to fight them if we have to, those enemies on the ground on Earth who didn't come from another nation or another, uh, another that's planet. That's a great point. Yeah, it's a really great nuance there. Kennedy, you had the head of X-Files come out and say that he's delighted at this news, that he has, UFOs have been a subject of interest of his for a long time. And meanwhile, the former creator of Men in Black came out and said, this is a little scary. So are you delighted or are you scared? I'm delighted. I think it's fantastic because if you are able to traverse light years, through space, most of which is still a complete mystery to us, between dark matter and dark energy, which makes up a majority of the universe, we don't know how those things behave. And the, the laws of physics, as we know them, uh, these craft would have to violate that in order to travel from the closest star. Uh, it, it is physically impossible in terms of what we are able to accomplish. So I said this on my show the other night, if they've got craft this advanced, they've got weapons this advanced, and they're not using them. And I, I truly believe that uh, intelligence will evolve to something closer to goodness than destruction, uh, if for no other Yay. reason than for preservation. So, so I am optimistic about this. And also, we got Tang and Tempur-Pedic mattresses uh, from the moon missions from NASA. So imagine what we could get with alien technology. I, I can't wait. Flying cars are just the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> I love the optimism, Kennedy. Uh, Dr. Sapphire, do you, uh, do you maintain that same, same optimism? So I'll be honest, I'm with Harris. I, I don't like the unidentified portion. I mean, right now, you know, we can't even protect ourselves from, like, misinformation from China, and our southern border isn't even secure. So I want to know what these are, because exactly. I'm not very confident that we can protect ourselves should we need to. I'd like some more information. So I'm ready for them to release that report. David, quick answer from you. What do you think we see in this report from the U.S. government? Well, Harris is spot on. This is two countries telling each other something. It's either us telling China and Russia we have a new weapon or them telling us they have a new weapon. Or, as the military has done in the past, they don't let us know they have something for 10, 15 years, as they uh, have done with airplanes and, or fighter jets in the past. And uh, it's likely one of those three scenarios. We shall see. Uh, and we will all wait with bated breath for that mm -hmm. report.